Hey guys, JP again, and I thought I'd just do a review on the master form of uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Play Arts Sora. Um, this figure I got for like 30 bucks on Amazon uh, recently, like a month ago. And um, let's go ahead and let you see the box. This is the uh, domestic version, and it's quite different from the, um, the Japanese version. So I'll just let you compare it, compare and contrast. But these both are authentic. And then let's go ahead and show you the side shot. And again, the front shot. And again, or not again, but for the first time, the bottom shot. Now you'll see um, it says Square Enix Products on this one, and then Kingdom Hearts on this one. Um, I find that uh, products purchased from the Square Enix store online have this insignia or like reprints of the uh, or reissues of the figure have this version so you're not necessarily getting bootleg okay so that's kind of weird I don't see a ser serial number in the box Here's the figure itself. Let's go ahead and take these out. Now this is a Circle of Life Keyblade. Uh, I guess you get this from like the Lion King world. Um, you'll see like the vine is different from the other keyblades this doesn't have a lobster clamp and you'll see the charm is like a, the Simba drawing that Rafiki makes um, I like the detail on this it's pretty good especially here like you can see there's like blue and red mixed in and there's shading on the on the arcs. This is um, Guardian Soul Aurons. Uh, well, it's it looks like uh, something that's related to Oron. And uh, there's the gourd that Oron has. And I don't. I'm not sure what this is. This is some kind of deca detailing from his costume. And again, it's not clipped on by a lobster clamp like uh, the other uh, Keyblades. But that's not uh, abnormal. I mean, like the Play Arts arms don't have uh, uh, those lobster clamps either. And the uh, original Roxas's Keyblade doesn't have one. The detailing on this Keyblade is pretty good too. I like the purple and the gold and around the mask and the bronze eyes and especially here too so let's go to the figure so the same kind of articulation like on all Sora figures 360 at the wrist 360 here up and down on the bicep up and down here on the shoulder up and down and then uh, side to side. Uh, a note on this figure, it had the necklace, but um, I kind of lost it. I was trying, like, switching around heads on the Sauras, and I kind of regret doing that because I lost it. <laughs> um, some more articulation up and down on the shoe. Uh, 
360 at the upper leg. Um, some side to side also on the shoe. Hmm, what else? Uh, you can move it, but again, the pants hinder it, hinder the movement of the legs. And uh, this looks to be painted, the, the uh, detailing here, the white detailing. And it looks pretty good. I like the metallic that they used for the yellow pants. It looks like they, they use the same metallic everywhere. Um, let's see. You want to be careful with these figures as they, they scratch easily. You can see here and here. Um, there are also, there's also flash here. Like, uh, when you, when, uh, the people who, who put these figures together cut these parts off the molds that they're made of, uh, they're, that they're made with, they, they have to clip it off of the, um, parts sheet, and that's what happens. Like, you can sand it, but, um, you'll scratch off the details, and you'll have to repaint the details. So, yeah. Okay, so here's what he looks like with the keyblades in his hand, and that about does it for my review of, uh, Sora Master Form. Stay tuned for my final form review once I get it. And uh, please subscribe, um, rate, and comment, and like. And uh, thanks for watching.